Okay, so we're going to try and solve this quadratic congruence here. 2x squared plus 3x plus 2 is congruent with 0, modulus 7. Okay, so a normal way would be to factor out this. Well, as we can see here, trying to factor out this with this number 2 here and 3x here, we're not going to be able to factor this in normal terms with uh, integers. So the next stage would be to try and find square. Well, 2x squared plus 3x we're going to find difficulties in trying to find the square of 2x squared plus 3x. So that's not going to work either. So the next thing we need to do is try and work on our modulus. So modulus of 7. So is there a number we could add on to this 7? So maybe there's a number there to help us to, to, to factor it. But there's also another way. We could also change this number here. So we could also take the square. So we can change this one for factoring, we can change this one maybe to find a square. So I'm going to go with the route here where we're going to find the square. So what we need is, so we're going to, let's just start off with here, so 2x squared plus 3x. So we need 2x squared plus something x, where we can divide by 2 through whatever number we put here. And then also when we take the square, we also need to divide it by 2 again. So we need something that can be divisible by 4. So if you keep adding 4 to this, sorry, if you keep adding 7 to this until we can divide by 4, that will give us a suitable value and it won't change the congruence of this equation here. So for example, 2x squared plus 10x, that's not going to work because we can't divide by 4, but that would not change the congruence that we have here. So 3 plus 7 is 10 plus 7 again is 17, and another 7 is 24. So 24 is the number that we're looking for. So if I go plus 24x plus 2, you can grow with 0 modulo 7. And 24 divides by 4, so that's going to help us greatly when we try and take the square. OK, so let's go with the first stage. Divide everything by 2 here. So we're basically interested in these this two parts here. So now we've got 2 x squared plus 12 x plus 2 is congruent with 0 modulo 7. So we've not changed the value at all of this congruence from here and it is also still the same congruence with the same solutions for x as we would have here. Okay, so let's take the square inside. So we've got 2 times x plus 6x, so x plus 6 squared. And now we've changed the value here because when we factor this, uh, so when we multiply this out, we'll get x squared plus 36 plus 12x. So basically we've added 36 onto our congruence. So now we need to subtract 36 and then close that in the bracket. And then plus 2 is congruent with 0, modulus 7. OK, now what we can do is we can perhaps distribute the 2 again. So now we've got 2x plus 6 squared. 2 and minus 36 becomes minus 72. Now we can get rid of this bracket now. We're not going to need it. And then add 2. And again, congruent with 0, modulus 7. OK, now let's do something with this. So minus 72 plus 2, that's going to be minus 70. That's what that's going to equal to there. So now the minus 70, we can now bring on to the other side. So now we've got 2x plus 6 squared is congruent with... So we've got minus 70, bring it to this side. We've now got 70 mod 7. And that's fallen into our hands quite nicely because 70 mod 7, we know that that is the same as 0. So let's just do that in there so we see what we're doing. 2x plus 6 squared is congruent with 0 mod 7. OK, so now we divide both sides by 2 which is just basically going to eliminate this number 2 here. And now we're left with 
x plus 6 squared is congruent with 0 mod 7. Okay, now we take the square root on both sides just to eliminate this squared side. And now with x plus 6 is congruent with the square root of 0, which is still 0, mod 7. Okay, subtract 6 from both sides. x is congruent with minus 6 mod 7. Bring this into a positive positive integer, so minus 6 is congruent with positive 1, so therefore x is congruent with 1 mod 7. And that's how we take care of this here when we choose between factoring or taking the square. Okay.